Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So today we are at Yonkazuk and we are doing Fire Hut 2 and 1 for you. It's a red trail, it's quite fluid, it's got some obstacles on it, but a lot of them have A and B lines. So we're gonna take it down serious first time down here. We're gonna take it super chill and you guys can see what it's all about. So have fun. Cheers. Okay, so we're doing this. We are dropping into Fire Hut 2. Um, it's quite a smooth trail. It's got a couple of obstacles on it. Uh, like we said in the intro, there's a lot of A and B lines. So we're going to take it super chill down so that you guys can have a real idea of what to expect when you come do it. That's a nice little jump there. And there's one or two rocks in the way, but you can Again, just roll over everything. Berms are super chilled. I think there's one berm that's fairly big here, which is on the next contour down, which we'll obviously tell you about when we get there. But as you can see, Sarah's rolling everything. Nicely done. It's a little roll over there, but again, nothing, nothing crazy. Nice. Boom's all manageable. It's a really cool flow trail. A little double there. Okay, we've got a jump on the right hand side, beeline around this way. Another rollover, we're coming to the boom we spoke about a little bit earlier. Yeah, there's the roller around, beeline. We're gonna go up, go up, go up, go up. Okay, you need, you need to get some momentum there. A few moments later. Just ride up and through it. You've got this. You're going to get through and you're going to go, what was I worried about? Just some speed and then stay, stay up nice and high. You've got this. Okay, here we go. Here we go, we got Sarah around the big berm and that is pretty much the last technical feature on this entire trail. It's a bunch of these rollers but that's exactly what they are. You can just roll over them. Yeah, there's a jump and a beeline around it. The jump is rollable. So if you do want to just stick on the left hand side line, you can do that. And then we've got a nice big double on the left. The trail's nice and fast on the bottom side. Boom's so nice and open. And then that's it. We're gonna drop straight over and into Fire Hut 1. Hey, and it's gonna be pretty much the same as what we just did. And this will bring you out just below the parking, above the parking. So it's a great trail to finish with. I do recommend probably riding this trail in the morning or first thing because what happens is the sun comes up and hits the side of the valley first so it gets really hot so maybe start the side and then finish your ride off um, on the other side of the valley Be 
beeline on the left hand side. Yay! Loads of fun. The A and B lines are quite visible from a, from a while away. So if you just keep looking up ahead, you'll be perfectly fine. This all used to be covered by the most amazing forest. But as you can see, everything's growing back around us. Such a good piece of track. practicing this foot wedge on these flats and it's taking a bit of getting used to so a foot wedge is dropping the front your leading foot and heel and then the back foot uh, dropping the toes so you create a wedge between the pedals and that's what keeps you stable over these rough bits and pieces um, but obviously with doing that you need to make sure that your weight is nicely centered on the bike so it's all a lot to think about when you move to these flat pedals trying to break all those bad habits from the clips uh, we'll see how long it lasts We've just made it all the way down from Fire Hut 2. Great piece of trail. It's super smooth, something completely different to what Yonkuzuk normally offers. Hope you guys had fun.